And what is up everyone, so my last tutorial on how to make a VR game with the Oculus Rift was a big hit. Thanks to all of you, the video has reached more than 60,000 person, which is just awesome. But a lot of things have changed since the last time I've published, so I decided to give you an update on this tutorial with a full series that will cover all the basis of developing a virtual reality application, which I hope should get you started with any of your VR project with the Oculus Rift. In today's episode, we'll cover VR setup, joystick movement, and presents grab system. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want is to go under the Oculus software and make sure that the unknown source is enabled. This will make possible for Unity to play our application. Okay, we will create now a new project inside the Unity app, name it something like FPS VR, and make sure that the version is not 2018.3 because right now it's not working with the Oculus integration. So now we are here with an empty Unity project. I'm quickly creating a plane which will serve as the ground. And I will also creating a cube. I will add also some color to my scene, like a red color, a blue color, a black color, and also a white color. I will now drag the red color to my cube and move the main camera a little bit closer from it. Now, this next step is to go under Edit, Project Settings, Player, and make sure that the Virtual Reality Supported box is checked, but also that the Oculus is among the Virtual Reality SDKs. And just with that, I can press Play, and I'm able to look at my scene inside my VR headset. How awesome is that? Okay, so the next step is to download the Oculus integration from the Asset Store. You can go here under Windows, General, Asset Store if you don't have this Windows. And right away I can search for Oculus integration and I will download this SDK. So this will take some time, so I'm leaving you there with a quiet music. Okay, so now we are back inside our scene. I've downloaded the Oculus SDK. I will drag the black material here so we can see a little bit clearly. I don't need the main camera, so I'm just deleting it. And I will search for the OVR player controller. So it's just a prefab from the Oculus integration. Now I can move the prefab a little bit far from the cube. So now you can go under the OVR player controller, search for the OVR camera rig, and here the tracking origin type, I will set it to floor level. This will check for the height of the player that we've set inside the Oculus software. So now if I press play, I'm able to see in VR, but also to move with the joystick from my Oculus touch, and I'm able to look around, but also move around my cube. But there is still an issue remaining. You can see here that I'm moving my headset, but the character controller is not following me. So you can get around this issue by adding the character camera constraint, make sure that the OVR camera rig is set for the camera rig, and that you've checked the dynamic 8 box. So now if I press play, you can see that the collider is now following me correctly and also that the 8 is following my headset. Quite nice, if I'm colliding with an, uh, an object, it will uh, provide me from doing that. Okay, so now I can search for the local avatar and drag it under the tracking space. I will also search for the grab avatar left, which I will drag under the local avatar. I will do exactly the same for the avatar grabber right. And now if I uh, put some modification to uh, the cube, 
I will transform it in, into a, a table, for example. I will now create some cubes. And here the main goal is to grab the cube that we are co-creating. So now if I'm, uh, if I'm uh, scaling a bit down the cube to something like 30 centimeters, and I will duplicate the cube so they stack, I can select all the cube and add the OVR grabbable script. Also, I will add a rigid body which will provide some phys physic properties. And now, if I just... Oh, okay, so here, if I don't forget to change the, uh, the wide of the character controller if needed. So here I wanted to get a little bit closer for my table. And now you can see that I'm able to see my ends, but also to grab the cube that I in front of me. And that's all for today. So thank you a lot for watching this video till the end. In the next episode, we'll have a look at how to customize our ends, but also we'll have a look at how to implement distance grab, which is quite handy, uh, super awesome. So don't forget to subscribe and see you around.